Thank you very much. Karibu sana. Uh, whatever you are watching me, this is Jeremy Damaris. I think last time uh, I took you around the Birmingham city. And of course, I told you in Alabama, we have uh, several cities which are famous. One is this Birmingham city. Uh, we have Huntsville, we have Mobile, and uh, we have Montgomery, the, our capital city. But today, I had some uh, things to do uh, on the northern side of Alabama. That is the Huntsville's or Huntsville. It's called Huntsville. So right now, I'm handed to Huntsville. And uh, I said, I will not leave my camera behind. I'll go with my camera showing you this city, this state of Alabama. When you come to US, are you gonna settle in Alabama or are you gonna settle somewhere else? You know, there is 50 states or there are 50 states. Now, his is uh, you can actually live anywhere and succeed. It just depends with the attitude na venye unaskia mambo inawezekana. Well, from Birmingham actually to Huntsville is about one hour and 30 minutes. So I have a long drive and I'm very much ready to go. We agreed that I'll be showing you around and not only Alabama. I have actually started with Alabama because this is my home. I say sweet home Alabama. Well, it's a long way. It's actually on the northern side of Alabama. And when you are going to Huntsville, uh, of course, Huntsville, it has some neighboring counties. Limestone County and South. Uh, on the south side, we have uh, Morgan County. Now I'm, I'm telling you, even people who live in Alabama, at least I'm going to give you some information about uh, my trip to Huntsville. And uh, the population in Huntsville is around 215,000 people. 215,000. Iyo city, Sasa, the area of Huntsville, Wale Watu Anaishi, Huntsville city, is around 215,000. And of course, uh, the current mayor right now is Tommy Battle. So if you're watching this video, maybe if, if you watch this video after 20 years or 50 years, currently when I'm doing this video, uh, the mayor is Tommy Battle. Tony, Tony Battle. He is the mayor uh, of Huntsville right now now and of course they say the best time to visit Huntsville you can actually visit Huntsville during uh, the summertime from June actually all the way to August a lot of things happens and uh, it's a good season anyway the weather is good the climate is good so between June to August is a good time but of course right now we are around uh, January so it's not really cold today the weather is good I can see the temperature is around 61 degrees so we are good Nahaya Basi, let's go. My trucks in the Ohio. Sasa kama unapenda kazi ya trucks, I think you can see. Hakuna magali zingine trucks. Nizo hizo. If you ever happen to come to Alabama, this is how you'll be seeing things. Uh, and I talked to one pastor. He's called the Dr. Karogi. He told me I've been here in Alabama since 1990. Now, what he saw is what he saw those old days. So, not much change. Sio mabadiriko mingi nafanyika. So, maybe you'll come here after 20, year, 20 years. This is exactly maybe what you'll see, or probably uh, much better. I don't know. But now, this is how uh, the route to Huntsville uh, looks like. And of course, uh, Huntsville, the, this city uh, was being known, hapo pareni ilikuwa inajulikana kama, walikuwa wanaita Twickenham, Twickenham, Twickenham City. But of course, uh, they changed uh, the name uh, from Twickenham to Huntsville after the first settler, aliyekuja hapa, alikuwa naitwa John Hunt. John Hunt, and I think that's where they got the name Huntsville. So, um, John Hunt, uh, so that's how they got the name Huntsville, and uh, actually the city changed to Huntsville from Twickenham. And of course, uh, many of Kenyans comes to Huntsville, especially when, while when attack Kusoma, they have a very good university around this area. In Aitua, uh, University of Alabama, Ambayo Iko Huntsville, Kuna University of Alabama in Huntsville. It's a very good university. I've seen a lot of Kenyans coming uh, to this school. They accept international schools. And of course, if you're interested to come to Alabama, I think this will be your uh, best uh, side to start life, uh, east side of Huntsville. And uh, as you can see, Alabama is about trees. Trees, the environment is good. Yani, huku hakuna atizire manyumba atunaona the one you see like in Florida, mauko New York City. Yes, we have cities, but along the road, Kuenda huko kwa town, what you can see on the road is actually the trees and it's a very beautiful scenery. 
and uh, i know uh, the challenges here is barabara and irabda adia yani ile swala ipite kwa barabara maybe that's one of the challenge sometimes there are so many especially during uh, summer season wanavuka tu kwa barabara ina kugongea gari ama unaigonga uh, it happens a lot it happens na pia kuna hizi mbwa mwitu pia ni nyingi sana hii area so the trucks are right there na one thing i like about the united states is that uh, their trucks are very beautiful i like them uh, the head shape looks very good and of course at mimi sio mchache i'm driving very fast and of course uh, the speed limit is around 70 and of course you can drive up to uh, 80 that is uh, a 70 miles per hour that is about 130 kilometers per hour kisema ni kule kenya and I've Nimetembea. I'm going to cut the video short. At least you only Hansville. Uh, so, but all what you can see from Birmingham City to Hansville, this is what you can see. I think the most exciting part I saw around here after this forest, I came across um, uh, the Tennessee River. Tennessee River. It's a very big river actually, but I was not able to shoot the river because or to take the video uh, because you know the highway na hakuna space ya gari. So I had to keep going. But uh, it's a very very beautiful place full of trees and of course you can imagine this time is around winter season so the trees haina matawi saizi all the leaves are down uh, so that's why you can see the trees like zinaka kuni mm. kuna watu wanasema eh kuni hizi ni kuni zote na hakuna mtu akuzifanya nini at least uh, yeah that's how it is so kuna wale wanachoma makaa maybe kuna mtu anaona hapa anasema waja many i wish i'm the one who uh, is there ni chome makaa well, remember, uh, in 1819, 1819 uh, Alabama was admitted as a state uh, and Hasville became the temporary capital for Alabama, as I said earlier. 1819, that's when Alabama became uh, the state of the union. It decided to be the state. Na ikakuwa the 22nd state of the union. Yani kwa hizi state is all the 50. Alabama was actually the 22nd. Uh, ku join sasa kusema ah tumekubali sasa tutajiweza sisi wenyewe wacha to join the state of the united states and they, and uh, that's how we became and uh, that then uh, 1819 that's when um, uh, twickenham by then ilikuwa ama twickenham sasa the hansville city now ndio ikakuwa the temporary capital city of alabama and of course the first constitution of alabama was done in hansville uh, if you don't know, the first constitution of Alabama was actually done in Huntsville. And of course, the first governor of Alabama, uh, his inauguration was done in Huntsville. So it's, it has a good history. And uh, of course, the legislature, the legislature, Bunge, Irianzia to he side the Huntsville. And then they had to look for a, a centered place, Yani Mahali Katikati, because it was very far from Birmingham City. It was very far from Montgomery. It was very first far from... Atlanta so they tried to look for a center place and that's why they moved uh, the capital city of Alabama to Montgomery and maybe you never know probably in the near future they might change the capital city from Montgomery back to Birmingham I don't know but uh, it's something to uh, keep seeing okay now the most important part and that's why I said I would take you to Huntsville it is because of the rocket system the rocket system unajua zile the rocket Zile rocket tulikuwa tunasoma kwa science. Mia was not a good fan of science. But of course we used to run about Mars, Jupiter, Mercury, sijui inaitwa Mercury, sijui Venus. Vitu kama hizo, eh? Comments and stuff like that. So here they have a very good story. And of course I decided first of all to start uh, to stop kidogo, but of course I will continue with my my journey to to Huntsville. And now let me tell you my friends. One of the most important thing I I want to do here is to show you the first rocket actually that took the first US animal to the space and then that animal ikarudi unajua huyo mnyama ni nani nyani you can believe it monkey ilitoka hapa Hansville ikaenda mpaka kwa mwezi and it came back alive of course they were two they were two monkeys nitakwambia alikuwa na mpaka alipewa jina Miss Baker. Don't worry. They say he, the, the Miss Baker is buried in Hansville. So let's keep going. And uh, you remember he the rocket system. It started back in 1950 uh, when a German born rocketeer waringia hapa. They were actually from German. So they came and settled in Hansville. And that's how they started the the, the space things is mambo ya kutengeneza rockets and they settled here na walikuwa naitwa Wenha van Brown 
kwa naitwa Wen Wen Havan Brown. Sijui ni Wen Havan Van na Brown ama ni namna gani. But that's what they say. They came from uh, Germany and that's where they settled and that was back then 1950. That's a long time my friend. Yes. By the way remember uh, the population of Alabama right now as we speak we have around 5 5 million and 39,000 people. 5 million and 39,000 people. That is was back in 2021. Now right now as we come to uh, Huntsville, nimekuambia Huntsville right now we have 200 and uh, 200 and some people, 215,000 people. Uh, of course the immigrants and that's the big thing. The immigrants who comes to Alabama uh, back in 2018 Zira uh, Resort is your nation ya kwamba the immigrants who settle in Alabama they are, it's 3% of the total population so if the total population is 5000 5 million and 3% ndio immigrants wale wametoka Congo, Jamaica, Mexico, ni Kenya we were actually 162567 so if you are here around that time 2018 you are in these numbers so around 162 maybe right now is 170 never know maybe 100 or 200,000 immigrants who settle in Alabama now this is Huntsville town Huntsville city and of course my concentration is not actually today in the Huntsville city of course I'll show you we have as I said we have a big university but I want to take you right there rocket center the first and the biggest rocket center not only in America but in the whole world actually they say this is the biggest and the largest i don't know what switch the best ones to use lakini wanasema hii ndio ile kubwa sana the first rocket started here haya ukiingia utakuta wazee hapa stitcher hiyo anaitanga statue or stitcher well that's what they there they say is uh, dedicated to the army aviation yeah sasa wale walijitolea hizo siku za mwanzo mwanzo it's a good story it's a good uh, it's a good thing so we have good things to learn here So what you just need to do is uh, you know follow me. Guduki ziko imara kabisa. Don't worry how far I am from the camera but of course I'm right here at US Space and Rocket Center. Actually the largest rocket center not only in the United States of America but of course in the whole world. And right now I'm here actually to take you through this process at least in the Ujue Mahari the first rocket was actually launched it was launched here in Alabama Huntsville city and of course Huntsville city uh, was actually a temporary capital city of Alabama uh, back in 18 something wakati hii state ili declareduwa kuwa state of union hiyo mambo nitakwambia but right now i'm right here to take you through all this place uh, ni kuonyeshe mahali tofauti tofauti well as you can see hapa kuna mtu anaitwa miss baker na Miss Baker is actually a monkey and she was the first one to get to the space ama huko kwa mwezi and she came back alive in fact there were two but one died four days after kurudi hapa but Miss Baker is actually celebrated now of course alikuwa na mzee wake anaitwa Big George here in Alabama all in America people value that monkey sana sana and of course I'll take you to the graveside and well I'll take you around ni kuonyeshe kwa mwezi ni kuingiza ingiza hivi hapa na pale And of course I know you're going to enjoy. So I don't want you to touch that dial. Just stay there. As we agreed I'll be taking you around this state of America. Uh, and of course actually this United State of America. But now today I'm right here at Huntsville, uh, the US Space Center. In fact kama mtoto wako anataka kujua hii mambo ya aerospace, mambo ya hii engineering ya space, mimi sielewi sana. I think this is the best place. This is where people come to uh, learn history is a museum, kuna mambo mingi. In fact even the first um, ile 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 yenda huko kwa mwezi ikiwa imebeba Miss Baker it is actually right here so don't touch that uh, wacha nikupeleke mzunguko kidogo at least i know you'll enjoy and finally that's why i'm saying we are here thank you so well as i said miss baker you know this a uh, monkey they say it's a squirrel monkey na this monkey was born around in 1957 Uh, I think in 1957. Yes, na Miss Baker kaburi yake ndio hii. Hii ndio inasemekana ndio nugu ya kwanza kwenda kwa space. Walizika hapa 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 Alabama. And of course some people come and uh, watch the grave or see the grave wanakuja kuitazama. Wengine wanaacha madizi hapa. You can see a few bananas here and there. Uh, kwa sababu ya huyo nugu mwenye alizaliwa 1957 and later the, the Miss Baker died around 1984. 
And then of course, today is not, uh, is not a weekend. And you see many people come here to see. From different parts of the world, they just come here to see. And uh, as I said, uh, kuna hizi madege, zire jet. Yeah? Zire jet is a uh, kwanza. They started actually, is it kwa kumina tatu hizi. So this is one of them. They were actually 13 of them. So this one is one of them. Zilikuwa zinatumika sana A12 Oxcart article. Inasema uh, one of that in A. Ukisoma utajua hiyo maneno. But of course when you come. Hizi zikuwa zinatumika kwa vita. Zile jet za vita. Na za kubebo wakubwa. Lakini kilicho nishangaza nikuwa na shidu wa murango. Ya hii dege. Ilikuwa wapi. Hii murango ya hii dege ilikuwa wanaigiria wapi. Ama imefugwa. Look at that jet how it looks like. Hii kituanga hewa inasonga kabisa. Well. Turudi pale kwa hile nugu ni nikuwa na kuambia kusu. The Miss Baker. Okay, as saying Miss Baker, uh, he was, uh, okay, he, he, she was the first US animal to go to the space and return alive hmm, in the garden of, of Huntsville. In fact, alikuwa na issue kwa Florida, huko Navo Isle Space Medical Center, Florida, 1971. Then they brought the, the, that man ki hapa, Alabama, kwenye alikufia sasa. Na kakufa na kazikuwa hapa hapa Alabama. And uh, the animal died within with 27, hour, 27 years. When he was 27 years. And of course, Ms. Uh, Baker. Ali, alikuwa me, walikuwa wameenda wakiwa wawiri. Na Miss Ebo. So alikuwa naitua Miss Ebo. Ni mwana mkia mwigine wa nugu. Alikuwa na perekwa huko. So I'm saying that because he's a manke. A squirrel manke. So and they went both of them. But of course, Ms. Ebo was not able to survive. Uh, and actually he was born... Um, uh, May, 20, May 28, 1959. So when they came back from the space, we were moja kakonjeka. So when he was doing, going and he uh, inaitangwa kutolewa zile vitu alipata wakiwa huko. So he inaitangwa what? Alnoids ama zinaitu na mnagani. Munajua wala munasoma space. But now, uh, andi alikufa. Sasa moja kabake. Anambaya naitua Miss Baker. Mwenye ni mekwenyesha hapo nyuma. And well, Miss, um, you know, Miss Abel died four days after space flight. Na akiwa anatolewa electrode. Electrode. So, of course, now when you want to start from uh, exploring now this museum, unaanzia hapa. So, unaanzia hapa, unaingia. Na ukumbuke tu ni kikuelezea mamba ya ule nugu wako pale. And for, of course, you can here, kwa ikuna hizi matangi, you can just get into them and feel like you are actually kwa mwezi. Eh, kwa mwezi. Hmm? So, as we say, Ms. Baker alitaftiwa mze, ambaye alikuwa naitua Big George, na pia ya alikufa 1979, kwa sababu ya shida ya figo, na ninaugea kusu man case. So, hapa they are very valued. Tukingia kwa NASA, NASA, sasa ni hapa uh, Navo Isle Space. Of course, tunaingia na... Ilianzia tu hapa, so when you come here, even after, because this is a museum, this will forever be here. This is exactly what you'll say. I went to my left side, and of course, in Kakuta Coca-Cola, I was familiar with the chupa. Kajua, hey, hii ni hile chupa ya Coca-Cola. So I was familiar with it. And of course, I had there is somewhere you can just go and learn about uh, easy, Mercury. And I decided to go. But then, Mahali Naingia, it's very dark. But of course, follow me. Kaenda. I was told to go look for a good seat I can sit down. And of course, now here, People come for training. Wale wako shule. Wanasoma hii mamba ya science. Wanataka kujua mamba ya Mars, Jupiter, Moon, Earth, Sun. Uh, this is a good place. They, they come here. So I, I had a privilege of coming. Of course, I paid around $4. So you pay $4 to get in here. And of course, to get into the whole of this uh, museum, you pay around, I paid $30. Then kuingia hapa, nikalipa $4. Kukuja kusoma hii mamba ya space. So I, I nikatafuta kiti mahali juu kabisa and I sat down here. So as you can see I'm very much ready. I'm waiting for the class to start. Tristi ni some. Hata kama si kusoma sana ile mambo. Unaona hii class ya CBC imeanza Kenya. It's very helpful. Yaani sasa saa hizi labda ile kitu nitasoma hapa nitashika sana. So now that is the earth you can see. Of course the class has started. That is the earth. Now we are leaving the earth going to the moon. Na tumeacha dunia kule chini. Tumepanda juu sasa. Now that is the earth. You see down there? Hiyo ni dunia sasa. Now we are in the sky. We went closer to the sun. As you can see. This is the sun. Very bright. Kuna yale mambo tulisomeshwa. So I can't let you run. Uh, sababu kitaka kwenda huko utasoma. But this is very good information. Unafundishwa kuhusu jua ukiriona hivi. 
unapinduliwa kidogo unaadua hapana wacha twende kwa kwa ile kitu kingine kwa karibu na na jua inaitwa mercury ama kwa kwa nini kwa planet nyingine inaitwa mercury sio kama ni planet ama ni nini but we went here we were able to see them hizi ni stars zenye unaonanga huko juu kabisa you are able actually to go closer to them and see them exactly how big they are ni kama kijiwe hmm? ni kama kijiwe and of course now this is mercury tuliambiwa hii ni mercury well kuna venus venus is very nice inakuwa na very good colors but venus ndio inakuwa moto sana kuliko jua eh? kama ulisoma science they say uh, this is the hottest one kuliko jua jua sio yenye iko juu moto sana well we left in venus and we went to the moon sasa hii ndio nasikia hii kitu iliradi huku we had to lad tulimwambia lazima utupeleke tuone mahali hii kitu iliradi hii, uh, uh, hii nugu inaitwa miss miss beka hii inasemekana ilienda huko Huh? the monkey the squirrel monkey iridadi wapi and they had to show us we had to go there and land exactly kwa kwa moon so i'm taking you so next time when you come you can go and feel this experience huh? so we were able to go closer to the moon and of course uh, this actually it looks like a small thing but it's a very big valley this one sasa kwa mwezi we had to come here tukasema lazima tupelekwe turadi hapo waliradi yeah and we were able to go there and of course you see this space from this side to that side they told us is a, actually a radius is a diameter of 8 miles 8 miles kutoka side hivi kutoka side ile ingine ni around 8 miles na kuenda chini kwa hii mtaro it's very deep it's very deep so as you can see now we are adding here uh, sikuweza kuchukua video mzuri because videos were prohibited actually but i tried to take a, a little kitu ni kuonyeshe ndio ujuage hii maneno so even if you never come here at least you feel like you have been here you know what i'm saying wherever you are whether you are in germany whether you are in uk whether you are in kenya now you are feeling like you have visited the largest space center in the world in us haya we were able to settle here for a minute And then uh, tukatazama tukaona what was going on of course ukiona pale mbele kuna ile tulikuwa tunaonyeshwa pale mbele utaona kakitu kadogo sana kamepada hivyo juu tunaambiwa hiyo ndio rocket hapo ndio iridad sasa hiyo maneno sijui sana well ukitaka kama mtoto wako anafanya hii maneno ya ya hizi mambo ya science i think is a very good place unaweza pata info na tulikuwa tunaelewa sana kuliko venye tulikuwa tunafundishwa na mwalimu na kitu huoni unacholewa kwa blackboard at least now you come here you can see it how it looks like and you are able to learn this is a very good experience and that's why they say america eh Germany technology iko juu sana and many people came in actually we were so many and we were able to see all this now we are getting back out of the moon and go to another place probably Mars uh, we went to so many of them actually nine of them so so I think there were nine uh, but personally I just wanted to show you the moon so that is exactly how the moon looks like and it just looks like a very big stone and of course uh, people cannot survive here cannot survive here and uh the what we pale so we we actually wanted to go to that planet ingine inaitangwa mars because that's when they say maybe hapo watu wanaweza ishi kidogo hapo kuna science like maybe in the near future some people will live there kwa mars and we had no option mars ndio inakaa karibu sana na dunia inakaa kama iko it's almost like the earth and uh, the the scientists kuligana venye wanasema unajua scientists ni waongo sana saa zingine wanasema hakuna hii hakuna hii kuna ile so they said huku ni kama kulikuwa kuna ishiwa so and they said we told them let us go and land there so tukasonga na by the way as we come closer to mars tukaanza kuona kama tunaona mirima mchanga mawe vitu kama hizo and we say no we need to go closer and see what mars has or mars have na tukakuja and we were able to get there it looks like uh, some varies there kama ni kama mahali kulikuwa kuna pita mnyonyoko wa maji ama maji yenyewe we were able to come closer to these things the varies when you are in mass yani unakaa kama ni kama dunia tu it's like something very familiar kama desert eh? ni kama desert huku but of course they say uh, kuna maji huku so watu wawezi ishi hapa so but they are working to see maybe what happened ni maji ni duni universe ilikunywa maji yenye ilikuwa hapa ama ni namna gani but as you can see that is exactly how mars looks like hmm? na wanasema sasa hii yote ni milima aya 
we had to leave wacha ni kuachi hapo turudi pale nyuma kidogo ni kuambia sasa kuhusu alabama itself as i said right now they say we have about almost 200,000 immigrants so wale watu wao wanakuja wana seto in alabama of course they say 70,000 are men uh, kwa hivyo mimi niko mmoja wa hapo uh, women are around 79,000 and uh, of course children are around 12,000 uh, 796 those are immigrants and wacha ni kuambia ni kupea siri moja they say when i was trying to look the best states to leave when i say maybe uh, the immigrants wale wengi sana hukuja united states of america uh, the best state maybe to start with uh, for your green card or for your life probably kama uko na green card is california when i say that is the place that has the highest immigrants highest number of the immigrants you see now mass has like zile milima ni kweli inakuonyesha it looks like very familiar but we had to leave uh, because of time dio twende mahali kwingine because i have a lot of things to show you around here in this place called Huntsville, Alabama. Well, they say another state to live is allowed in New York. They say it's a very good place. Uh, Maryland, of course, uh, kule karibu na Washington DC, karibu na White House. They say it's also a nice place. And of course, the uh, Washington state, Washington state is very friendly to the immigrants. Uko upande ni ule upande wa Seattle, hiyo side. Uh, it's called Washington state. Uh, na pia they say New Haven, Connecticut is also a good place and I have to do a lot of research. Why do they say this is a good place or this good place for uh, people who are coming? Of course I was able to leave the place and go around other, some other places. These are museums whereby you see the US Army zire vitu walitumia and what they are planning to use in the future. Everything you can you can see it here. Kuna zile ndege walikuwa wanatumia, kuna zile ndege wanataka kutengeneza. Wanataka kutengeneza in the next 50 years, in the next 30 years, in the next 100 years, what do they want to do? What do they want to do in this country of America? Kama ni vifalu, kuna zile vifalu zilikuwa lazima zingekuwa na watu ndani. Now they are trying to work systems zenye zinaweza peleka vifalu vyenyewe. Hazina watu lakini zinaenda kwa vita. Eh? You know what I'm saying? So they, that's what they are trying to do and in this museum you can be able to read wale watu wanapenda kusoma sana you can able to read kama hii ni kiti ya yenye alikuwa anasema wanasema hii ni sensa ya vita wakiweka pale you can be able to to see you can be able to monitor you can be able to ina, ina piga full cycle yani inaweza ona mahali enemy ana, anatoka they have a screen yenye inaweza kuonyesha mpaka like 40 kilometers uh, ni mahali adui yuko so all these are things that you can uh, learn from this place and most of us when we go here had to onak had to we don't watch them we just we just we don't read we just see and live hata mimi sina hiyo breakthrough ya kuisoma hizo vitu zote but of course it's a very nice place so if you happen to come here just come if you are in another state you visit alabama go to hansville go to hansville is one of the greatest attraction in alabama and of course they say that's one of the attraction that gives this state a lot of money kama mimi kuingia tu hapa ni 30 dollars na in what I'm doing here then I'll have to pay and sometimes you will find a lot of people coming from all over the world just to see and learn this so for me I'm just showing you free you don't have to pay anything so uh, remember to subscribe to our channel mm, if you have not well uh, as you can see the lockets are there you can see them very nice well stated you can see them na hii historia ya hizi lockets ni kubwa sana as much as they say hakuna mtu asha sasa hakuna watu wengi sasa washaenda kwa mwezi maybe they are planning to do it very soon na every day wale wanafanya hii mambo ya science they are trying to come up with good ideas of how they can make that possible very easy for people to travel to uh to to the moon and back or to the space ama mahali kingine wanasema as i said you can see their offices uh huko kuna wametengeneza mambo mazuri sana where by they say sa mali unaweza kuja kujionea sasa hizi kwa hizi matanki ni kule sasa unaweza ingia kwa hizi matank then you feel like you are huko kwa mwezi ndani kabisa there are some places where by you enter and feel like you are una, unaomboka hicho tulikuwa tunaambiwa kitambo Uh, watu wakienda kwa the moon that is how they do it so for me i'm just explaining to you kiwa damaris but you can do a lot of research and know more about this place but just in case uh, you can just see what i'm saying just watch tazama 
I had to go through this, uh, this thing. Lakini when I entered here, I felt like, hey, am I in the right place? Ama nimejia kwa ofisi ya mtu. But I came to realize it's a way through. You can go in, read, listen to the TVs, listen to the monitors. They have a lot of information. Wata kukuanyesha hii tani kini ya nini. Dio watu wanastahili kuwa palate. Maybe in the next 20 years, mukenda kwa mwezi, itakuwa inakaa hivi. Iyo kitu. Hmm? So how venye mtu anajiuliza na hiyo kitu ikiangalia iki, iki juu the way it goes that rocket inakuanga inakana mna gani so they they try to show you a lot of things how to, maybe you can operate and that's how it is hmm? so for the first time i was actually not sure whether i'm in the right place i felt like i'm intruding someone's privacy but i decided let me go on wacha nitembe because I'm the only one here. Si only mtu mingine. Na iza pita uko sikia kengorai mepiga. So I was actually not very sure of where I was going. Now, let's go back to the the Miss Abba and uh, Miss Baker. Uh, I said, wakati walirudi kutoka kwa mwezi, now when they came back, they were actually taken to New York where they were actually celebrated. No, they were taken to Washington, D.C. How those two monkeys, they were very much celebrated and they were treated in a very big way, like celebrities. And that's why you see uh, that Miss Baker, even today, you go to Alabama, the grave is still there. And alitaftua wazewegi sana. Wakwanza alikuwa naito Big George, akakufa. Tena akataftua muzeo mwingine. Ambaye sikumbuki alikuwa naito na mnagani. And of course, uh, the husband died. Then later... Miss Baker akakufa uh, na kaziku akiwa na miaka 27. That was back in 1984. Well, inside this place, it looks like this. Next time, when I come back, I will make sure ni meingia huku. You have to pay to get uh, here. And you at least you feel like you are in the moon uh, or in the space. And mabo kama hayo. So, for now, I will leave this place and maybe go somewhere else and show you uh, something different. Yes, Songe. I hope you are enjoying. If you enjoy, just give me a like. And also remember to subscribe. It's a free tour right here in Huntsville, Alabama. Well, these are mangoes in the So that's what just a uh, place you can get a picture. Now, finally, I had to come out and show you the the rocket itself. We have actually so many of them right here. Uh, and it's a very big one. It goes like that. So of late, I don't think we are. Maybe somebody else can tell me. But Bado and Azidi Kusoma. Pale kuna kitu inazuguka pale nyuma. I'll come to tell you what it is. All about. I remember kuna watu nilipeleka huko one day one time. Wali piga duru sana. Yeah. Inakuanga ni kitu ya force. Ina, 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 ina vuta force. Nizemo wacha ni guze ni angalia mahali moto inatokaga. Wani inatokaga. Nasikia hapa diodoro inatokaga. Diyo moto inatokaga. Hii kitu kitoka because it goes with a lot of force. Yani ina inapuliza chini i think we all, we have always seen them in the old videos and in their own tvs and uh, in the newspaper how they go sasa inakanga hivyo hii kitu huko chini na hii sasa sio atilitengenezwa iweke hapa ni kitu ishafanywa kazi eh? so it's like a museum so you come and see it and it's a good one so at least i know i'm giving you a good view you can just watch it and see it so next time you come to Hansville, and if you have not visited there, please make sure you do. All right.
By the way, in this place, the same place, Hansville, we, they have an, other schools like uh, Virginia College. Mostly what we learn as summer nursing, they come to those colleges, Virginia College. They also have uh, Mimi's Beauty Academy of cost Cosmetology. If maybe you are dealing with uh, cosmetology courses, probably you can try to check out. Maybe they can give you, uh, an, you know, when I was a cosmetology new rainbow. Yeah, all those things are done here in Hansville, and I think many people come. Uh, here we have Hansville Airport around this place, so it's it's a good place. It's a good place. So I decided to come close to this all these things. Uh, aging, this was the most powerful aging uh, ever. So that uh, when you come, you can see. This is a rocket aging. It's one of the most powerful aging. And it was actually developed um, uh, back then. And now, kijaribu kuyangalia, you can know the weight. Ata it, it, it is it weights, it's over 200,000, 200,000 LOBs. Huh? Ni kitu muzito sana. It's very heavy. So even if you come here 20, 20, 2050, you'll still find this thing here. Kama itakui mekongwa na bomb. By the way, mwenye anayedesa hii kigali yote imebeba hii kitu. Unajua naishi wapi? Unajua nilikuwa na jaribu kutafuta. Mwenye alideta hii kitu wapa. Alikaa wapi? Eh? Alikaa wapi? Eh? Na hii kitu itengenezo 1955. Hmm? You can see the diameter is 10 feet. Length 71.2 feet. Uh, weight, 267 LBs. Uh, that's a lot of weight. You can lead for yourself. Nilikuwa na jaribu kuuliza, mwenye naedeza hii karoli, imebeba hii kiroket, alikuwa naishi wapi, alikuwa nakaa wapi, kanyuba hiko hapo, kitogo sana. Well, I had to look for a better view and see it. And it's a good place. I enjoyed myself. The bad thing, I was just myself. Pale unaona kitu ya tatu. That's where I'm heading to. I'll need to go there. Well, there is a, one of the helicopters that was uh, actually used during uh, wakati wa vita ya Vietnam. Ilikuwa inabeba mizigo, inabeba vitu zingine za kupelekea watu wao chakula, mama zingine kama hizo. Ilikuwa inaitwa CH476 in Vietnam. Uh, ili tumika sana, ili tumika sana kwa vita. Uh, but bado iko. It has been kept safe here in Huntsville, Alabama. Uh, for people to come and see and touch. Na nikasema hiyo. Kama hili tumika Vietnam. Na tukua tunaona movie za Chuck Norris na zigine wakipigania Vietnam. Si wacha pia mimi ni guze. Ni kuguzie tu. Sindio? Ya. Yeah. Wacha ni kuguzie. So next time you come, just touch that point. Mseme niliona wandamari ya kiguza. So it's my time to touch. And of course I was trying actually to look for the hooks. Because they say ilikuwa inabeba mizigo. Inahangi hii mizigo. You can see the hooks are there. Ni hooks muzito sana. Zikuwa zinafugirua mizigo mingi sana. Inapereka mbali sana. Well, waliokuwa nakawa nakaa hapa. Si hati ni kitu comfortable ukikaa hapa. Hati unasikia kama uko kwa dege. Wewe, hii ni vita. Lazima ukue umekaa kama nini. Eh? I had to imagine myself nikiwa kwa hiyo vita ya Vietnam. Ama rabda nikiwa kwa, kwa hiyo jeshi. Back then kwa hiyo miaka. Sasa mwenye alikuwa napiga lisasi, so unajua alikuwa nasimama hapa hapa hiyo, nyuma. Eh? Anapiga mbuduki. Eh? Yep. So, this place, that's all we have in this place. And uh, of course, a lot of uh, agents, a lot of old stuff that were used. And it might not make sense to you, venye nakuelezea, but wale watu wanajua sana mamba ya space na hii mamba yuto yote, ILO space. I think they have a lot of information here to come and take classes or maybe kuja wafanyue, you know, wakue na tour guide awa eleza vizuri hii ni ya nini, mimi naona tu misha ya zapa, senye zilikuwa zinatumika. And of course, kama hii kwa hapa, ilikuwa inatumiwa na US Army, lakini wanasema hawa kuwai itumia, it was very powerful and very fast, but for them, hawa kuwai itumia. Machini zigini hata ujui ama niza kulima ama niza kufanya nini. Very old chumas here. Well... Kira mtu wako na kacha yake.
But of course, as you go to Houston, uh, to Texas, you can find another Hasville. You can unaweza pata hilo space center ingine huko upande wa Hasville, but this is the original one. This, this is the original one. Ile ya kule Texas wanaiwekelea sana, but originally this is where this thing was uh, actually, you know, launched. Dio ili ili songa kwa mwezi hapa hapa. Uh, but I think it's because of the declining population. Hapa Hansville haku panduk, haku, you know, it's not growing. It has no uh, much growth. So watu wengi sana wanapenda kuongea kuhusu ile Hansville sana ya Texas. But I think this one is the original thing. Na hiyo kitu ilikuwa na machuma migi sana. Kama hiyo miaka mungu badu walikuwa mepe watu hekima ya kutegeneza chuma. Kama hii, it's not a joke. Now, I wanted to change something. Uh, kuna kitu niri, niri, niri panda Because we have, I cannot go up there Kwa hii rocket And next time I come I want to see where the driver Driver alikuwa anakaa wapi Kama kuna driver anaweza kaa kwa hii kitu Atakaa wapi Na hiyo nugu ilikuwa inaitwa Miss Baker Iliwe kwa wapi Anyway Now I decided to change something Hii kitu ni hile ya kuhusha mtu juu Ina kuhusha juu sana I said, hata kama mimi ni mwenyewe, by the way, here America is very good. Kenya huwezi padiso hapo kiwa peke yako. I decided to go alone. Nema wacha nye. So guys, it's my turn. Nidishwe ju, huko ju. Kuna malafiki zangu wapa wazungu wa yogopa wakasema ki mimi ni enda fast. So, I said, okay, I will try. It's not something you can want to go back again. Especially when you are alone. I tried myself. the best. It's a good feeling, huh? No. You do come off your seat. <laughs> There's that second where it goes down. You think you can keep going? I know. So while we're slow, I'll always offer a second run. Oh. I'm gonna need a minute. I'm good. <laughs> that was really fun, though. I'm glad we did it. Oh, it's really fun. So, this hii kitu naona hapa inazuguka. It is a false thing. My friend, ukingia hapo, it's called false accelerator. Jameni. 
ya unafungwa miss jawa ingia and i don't want to go there so uh, it's one of the fun places that people go kama we hauna uoga inakuingiza huko inakuvuta inakuvunga alafu inakuzungusha inakuzungusha anyway i think my day was good and i had to leave i had to finish my work so at least nimekuonyesha space center ile hansville nikutajia sana at least now you know what is there when you come to hansville i know there are other places i did not show you but next time at least now you have an idea now you know birmingham now you know hansville wait for the next city this was very beautiful it was a very beautiful very beautiful view of the rocket the blue skies very nice so remember to subscribe to our channel and uh, of course i know you have enjoyed and i will tell you this something you cannot see anywhere else and of course na kueleza na lugha yako unaelewa you are understanding na kile sielewi sana you can just go 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 about the hansville place and at least now you have the idea but of course si geenda nyumbani kabla sija kuonyesha hii missile eh si geenda nyumbani kama sija kuonyesha hii kitu you have to see it eh ni kitu unaelewa ni kitu unaona kama unaijua mahali well and today i thank god leo hakukuwa na watu wengi so i was just me and a few people so i was able to do my videos without any problem well kuna viti maybe when uh, when you come as a school by the way ata shule like kama mko na shule you can actually you know go go there mseme mnataka kukuja hapa just to see mambo ya space and i have seen many international student coming here from china from any other countries like in africa uh, wanakuja hapa just for this so even yourself you can try to look out and uh, just look at uh, US Rocket Center see whether they can be able to give you that invitation and just come and see this just say you are bringing your students kuja waone wajione na macho but this is something that you can show them live kwa class kwa shule and you can just put your explanation i've just done my own way you can just put your own uh, expra- uh, presentation Uh, but for me i've just done my own simple way and i know who may penda sana i've given you all the views then you unaweza ziona is a big thing yeah so for me i think uh, it's my time to leave now thank you guys and uh, i have to leave hansvi because time was running na wakaniambia kijana sasa lazima utangoka. So bye guys, see you next time and watch out for the next video. I'm not sure where I'll be going but I'll be back.